whether it's big or small, you got to store it all. So I'm going to go over four ways that you can keep your yard space neat. Join me after this. Yeah. Ah, uh, here we go. <laughs> Welcome back. So I'm going to be going over ways that we can store all that stuff for the garden. So, you know, you've got your lawnmower, your snow blowers, whatever you've got, your rakes, your tools, you're going to need somewhere to store it. So one of the ways you can do it is why not add a garage? Some people do it. I know it's more expensive, but why not add on? You're going to increase the value of your house at the same time, plus you've got somewhere to store it. So that you could, you know, invest in having a building done, single one-car garage or one-and-a-half-car garage, give you plenty of room for the mower, stuff like that. Obviously, if you've got more of a yard, you might need a bigger place. So you don't just have to attach it to the house because I know that's a lot of work. Other way you can do it is to do a standalone, you know, a detached garage. Nice one here, two and a half car garage. Um, you know, you can pick them up, um, get them built, or you can go to places, you know, some of the do-it-yourself shops and you can order everything online. It's amazing what you can get there. So, okay, more expensive option. But if you've got lots of stuff that you need to store, you want to keep it out of the weather. There's no room in your house for it. So you need somewhere to store it outside that's going to maintain it. And this way you can park your car under it as well. So when you get the winter days with all the snow or the rain, you can keep your car nice and dry. The advantage of the previous one where it was added on to the house is that you come home with your shopping, you can go straight into the house from the garage. You haven't got to walk through the rain and snow. You drive up, you open the door, and you drive in, and then unpack. Great way to do it. If it's not such big stuff and you're just talking about lawnmowers, snowblowers, you know, shovels and stuff like that, well then why not go for something a bit smaller? There's lots of options. So this is one of these um, plastic sheds. They're great fun. They look nice. They tidy up the yard so you can keep everything in there keeps it all weatherproof and out of the way, inexpensive, and they look great in the backyard. So it's adding, you know, a little bit of curb appeal to your backyard as well. So that, that's a great uh, way to invest in tidying up your backyard and having somewhere to keep all your tools safe, all your garden tools safe and sound and out of the weather. You know, you don't have to have the plastic there's other options as well you can always go for wood which in this case this is uh, this type of shed so you know it takes a little bit more maintenance because you do have shingles on the roof things like that and if it's made out of wood you're gonna have to paint it uh, now and again just to keep the look nice so, you know, if you see any paint peeling or flaking off, sand it down, paint it over. You can always change the color on that as well. So you can make, you know, a nice bright color, brightens up your garden, looks fantastic. So one of the other options you've got, if you've got space for them, then why not go to the metal type? You've got these big metal type sheds. Um, if you need to store more equipment, you know, a tractor, a ride on mowers, stuff like that. Or even if you've got a project car, if you've got the land to use it, put it in there. Stores it out of the way, keeps you nice and dry if ever you're working on it. And it's uh, it's a nice place to uh, 
stay you can set up lights heating out there and great way the fairly inexpensive for what they are you obviously you need to put a concrete pad down um, but in the scheme of things they're pretty reasonable for how big they are and how much storage you can keep out there well if there's another way there is and it's one of these temporary ones so this is what I mean. You've seen them before. You've seen like the poly tunnels for greenhouses and things like that. Well, they do them for cars as well. So a smaller thing, and they're typically under a thousand bucks. You can you you know you can get some for under a thousand. Uh, not this one, obviously, but the the example I'm showing has got tractors in it, so it's a huge one. But they do smaller ones as well, so you can get them. You know, they do them online many different places sell them and they're quite reasonably priced i've seen them for like 300 bucks up so um really good really good prices and it's always worthwhile even if it's just for the winter time to get your car out of the snow and out of the rain you want to protect your car great way of doing it at a reasonable price just put it on your driveway or next to the house and drive straight in. Also keep your lawnmower, your snowblower out of the way and gives you somewhere under cover for when you're getting it ready and starting it up, ready to go out to do that snow blowing. Gives you somewhere to stay out of the way and to keep all your salt and supplies. So if you found this useful, comment below. And if there's any videos you want to see in the future, don't forget to let me know. Bye for now. If you got value from this content, don't forget to like the video. If you'd like to see more of the same, then subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future content. We'd love to hear from you, so leave a comment below with your thoughts or suggestions for any future videos. See you next time. Bye for now.